A Russian court on Monday convicted a French citizen of collecting military information and sentenced him to three years in prison. Laurent Venatier, a 48-year-old political scholar, who was arrested in Moscow in June, earlier admitted guilt, setting the stage for a fast-track trial. His lawyers asked the court to sentence him to a fine. In his remarks before the verdict, Venatier, speaking Russian, reaffirmed that he fully recognized his guilt. Detentions on charges of spying and collecting sensitive data have become increasingly frequent in Russia and its heavily politicized legal system since Moscow sent troops into Ukraine in February 2022. Venatier's arrest came as tensions flared between Moscow and Paris following French President Emmanuel Macron's comments about the possibility of deploying French troops in Ukraine. Russian authorities accused Venatier of failing to register as a foreign agent while collecting information about Russia's military and military technical activities that could be used to the detriment of the country's security. Venatier is an advisor for the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, a Switzerland-based non-governmental organization. It said in June that it was doing everything possible to assist him. The prosecutors charged that Venatier had collected military information during his meetings with three Russian citizens in Moscow in 2021-22. The Russian citizens weren't named in the indictment. The charges carried a prison sentence of up to five years, but the prosecutors asked for three and a quarter years in prison, given that he had fully admitted his guilt and cooperated with investigators. Still, Venatier's lawyers argued the sentence sought by prosecutors was too harsh and asked the judge to sentence him to a fine. They pointed at his career as a political scholar who focused on studying Russia and emphasized that his books and articles have been friendly to the country. While asking the judge for clemency, Venatier pointed at his two children and his elderly parents he has to take care of. The charges against Venatier relate to a law that requires anyone collecting information on military issues to register with authorities as a foreign agent. Human rights activists have criticized the law and other recent legislation as part of a Kremlin crackdown on independent media and political activists intended to stifle criticism of its actions in Ukraine. На основании изложенного руководства 316 Уголовного профессионального кодекса Российской Федерации приговорил признать винотея Лорана, э, Лорана Клода Жан-Луи виновным в совершении преступления предусмотренной частью 3 статьи 330 Прим. 1 Уголовного кодекса Российской Федерации назначить ему наказание в виде лишения свободы сроком на три года с отбыванием наказания в исправительной колонии общего режима. Не знаю, да, Арест, наложенный на имущество подсудимого Венатия, снять по вступлению приговора в законную силу. А Страна защиты считает приговор а, излишне суровым и, конечно же, будет обжаловать его в установленном законном операционном порядке.
Russian Defense Minister Andrei Belusov arrived in Beijing for an official visit on Monday. Belusov attended a welcoming ceremony, laid a wreath at the Monument to the People's Heroes at Tiananmen Square and held talks with his Chinese counterpart Dong Jun. He praised Russian-Chinese relations and stressed that Moscow is determined to implement all agreements. Russian-Chinese military cooperation is an important element of increasing defense capability, maintaining global and regional stability, Belusov added. The Chinese defense minister said that both countries have a common desire to promote military cooperation. Дружественные отношения России и Китая сохраняют высокую динамику развития, расширяются по всем направлениям и находятся на беспрецедентном уровне. Ключевую роль в укреплении стратегических связей играют доверительные контакты лидеров двух стран настроенные на реализацию всех достигнутых на высшем уровне договоренностей. Российско-китайское военное сотрудничество – важный элемент повышения обороноспособности, поддержания глобальной и региональной стабильности. Мы регулярно проводим совместную оперативную боевую подготовку на суше, море и воздухе. Успешно отрабатываем учебно-боевые задачи, в том числе самой высокой сложности, рассчитывая на тесное плодотворное сотрудничество с китайскими товарищами. Уверен, что сегодняшний период...